a little bit of a quick update since I feel like we haven't done much filming really recently. We've been in Tahiti for about two weeks and we filmed a little bit of that waterfall hike and the drive around the island which was pretty but we've been doing quite a bit of work on the boat and, and uh, videos which doesn't make for good film of course. But we've got Jacques on board. Hi Jacques. And uh, so he's visiting us for about a week or two and we're going to do our best to show him a good time. So we're actually leaving Tahiti today and we're going to go to Marea, a beautiful, world famous, beautiful island. So we're going to spend the weekend there. Erica has taken a, off on the dinghy ahead of us to go into town and do some final shopping for the weekend, get some final things. And we'll meet up with her right at the pass to get out of here and go sailing. And we have normally no winds here, but today we have a bit of wind so we can, it looks like we're going to have a good sail there and maybe, maybe get to fly our new downwind sail, kite sail. It's a asymmetrical spinnaker, of course. So let's hope. Either way, it's going to be a beautiful day and I'm excited to see Maria, that's for sure. Welcome back. How was your trip? My trip? Yeah. That was quick. Got everything we need for the weekend? Yeah, I think we're set. Okay, let's go to Morea. Set for Morea. Let's get up our big sail. You think? Yeah. Um, Erica's making one of our favorite, the green papaya salad. So you take it just before it gets ripe. Yeah. And as suspected, the winds are light enough now that we've gotten close to the island that we can fly our new spinnaker. So I'm gonna get the lines run for that. And in the next five or 10 minutes, we'll get that put up. So super stoked on that. What do you think, Papino? Like Beautiful. It. I love it. It's a big sail. That's a big sail. Well, like I said, the wind has slackened a lot. Almost died. Got about six or seven knots of wind, but we're still going three knots. And one of the things that sets us apart, I think, I'm proud of, is that we just sail through it. When a lot of other people would motor, this is just what they used to do in the old days. And so that's what we're gonna do now. You know, I prefer this. I didn't always used to. It used to drive me freaking nuts, but now it's just like, okay, we go three knots and we're not running the motors. It's worth it. It's fine. And this, this sail and the others like this allow us to do that, you know, allow us to catch even the lightest breeze. So we sail for sure. Oh my God.
right next to that cat, directly in front of us. Yep, I like it. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's time to get in, check thing, check out the area. Let's go. I'm for the spirit now that everything's set. Come on. Well, good morning. Warren and I have been really, really enjoying our time here in Tahiti, and now we're in Morea, and it's just so breathtakingly beautiful. We're happy we're here, and one of the first things that we want to do and need to do while we're here is go check out the rays and the sharks. There's a little small blue lagoon over here in this area that is known for the gathering. I mean, it's a feeding place for rays and sharks, so we're gonna take Dad today since he's here with us and our neighbor boat and go check it out. Huh? Babe? Yes, anything, we are. Anything you want to add there? No, you did fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to have coffee first and then get going. <laughs> coffee first, always. <laughs> I need you to hold the front of the boat, please. Okay, you hold the front of the boat, I hold here. Come on, Dad.
I stole your call. <laughs> it's gonna be very You might get a response that you're not expecting. <laughs> Come on. How was it? Do you want the truth? Yeah. It, it was awesome. It was freaking incredible. Merman, we gotta go back. Her <laughs> man, dad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so freaking cool. I just loved that. That was awesome. <laughs> this place has so much to offer. There's so much fun stuff to do here and it's just the beauty. It's unspeakable beauty. And we get to call it home for now. Yeah, we're here for a little bit. Because we love it here. We're so happy. And we like you guys and you just have to go and leave, don't you? We kick it like no one else. We are going to get hammered. Oh, it's here. It's here. Is everything Ready? safe? Everything looks good so far. Where's the powder? Oh, you put the powder on. tomorrow I hope it doesn't get rainy like this on us. park our car, technically. <laughs> Warren's seemingly having some issues sorting it all out. Let's go. Thank you so long, Let's go. I don't know, that looked overly complicated. The day is burning. I know, but I got it so cool. So you cool. see how I pulled it and it cinched up? Yeah. yeah. So we have sold the boat and we are going to stay at resorts like this one. From now on. From now on, which for the price of the boat allows us about 50 three days. Oh, say more like three nights, <laughs> three nights yeah. in uh, resorts like this. So pretty even trade, I would say. Pretty worth it. Swanky, eh? Real It is it's beautiful, beautiful up there. Just incredible. This island is 
something else. What's first up, honey? Um, I think we are going to head up to a viewpoint called Belvedere's viewpoint. Pretty high up a mountain. Yeah, so that we can kind of get a good overlook view of the bays, actually. And then from there, we're just going to circumnavigate the island. Okay. Sometimes they're shrouded in clouds and then sometimes they just poke out, peek out. It's really, really stunning. So this is the viewpoint and it's already pretty spectacular for sure. There's just so many big, huge peaks that poke out, you know, that's we are going to hike one of them one day, but today with Papino, we're just going to drive around mostly, I think, because we want to keep him alive. Well, we're sadly saying goodbye to Morea for a couple weeks. Um, it has been fantastic getting to know this place just a little bit. I mean, look at this. This is one of the prettiest anchorages I think we've ever been in. Um, but Jacques is going to Bora Bora for a couple days and I'm actually going back to LA to work on my long stay visa here. I think we've mentioned this a little bit at least, how I, um, I don't have it. I have my three month visa, which is very easy to get when we were in Mexico, but the long stay is much more difficult. And we did not expect to love it here quite so much and we were kind of going to move keep moving on but we've decided against that and so i'm going to do the work go back to la where the french consulate is and i can work on my visa for a week and then just come right back so it's i'm not super stoked on having to do it but um it's absolutely worth it to be able to stay here for the next year is what it will afford us so that's um and it's not just Morea and tahiti it's the whole french polynesian islands that we get to stay at so very, very worth it to stay in this unbelievably beautiful and diverse um, archipelago. You know, uh, it's a huge area, the size of the United, well over the size of the United States um, that we get to explore over the next year. So I'm gonna leave Erica alone on the boat. She's gonna be at anchor for the whole time, which would be perfectly safe right outside of Tahiti. And that's the plan. So goodbye, Maria, goodbye, Tahiti. Hello, LA. Hopefully it'll just be quick. Bam, 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 bam back home here because this is home now and I love it and I will miss it. There they are. Warren's leaving me on the boat basically by myself for a week. Dad's with me, but he wants to go to Bora Bora, so I am going to be on the boat alone, and I want to make sure everything is right, like the anchor. So, is it right? Does it feel I right? I guess I do not have to dive in the water to check the anchor here. Dad feels bad that he's leaving to go Bora Bora and leaving me all alone. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it. You have nothing to worry about, it looks like. No, I, I, no. Am, I am looking forward to getting this opportunity and chance yeah. to be alone on the boat. And I do appreciate that Dad wants to, you know, 
be with me, but I think I got this. Oh, okay. you definitely got this. Yeah. That's hilarious, yeah. though. Get yeah, it's in the it's sand. Cool. You Let's have nothing to worry about. The trash. It's One less thing for me to do now. Man, a beautiful spotted eagle, Ray. Oh, he's going to keep guy. me company while you're gone. Yeah, you seriously need to make friends with him. I think we already are. We've already Not made right now, but the one. What do you... Hmm. The other one has darker leading edges. <laughs> that's, a, that's an aeronautical term. Donic is very drunk because my dad <laughs> has a heavy pour. <laughs> uh.